Hey dude, oh shit, wrong one. Hey dude, good morning. What's up guys, welcome to a brand new YouTube video. We got a house full of dogs because your favorite people are hanging out again, Mr. David and Julia. What's going on? They come and visit on a regular basis. Normally they stay for a couple of days, but this one's gonna be a little, little bit different. You're not staying for a couple days. A little bit longer than that. Not even a couple weeks? Maybe a little longer than that. We're talking about maybe like two months? Something like that. We got some roommates for a little bit. Taylor, what do you think about that? Love it. You love it? Yeah. Call you McDonald's because you're loving it. We'll talk about that a little bit later in the video, but right now I gotta go show you guys something. Today is the day, ladies and gentlemen. Today is a monumental day in history that we will remember forever because it is when we, Sour Strips, the David, take down the giant candy conglomerates, the Goliath, the people that are approving sour candy that isn't actually sour, and it all starts at Target. This is where we hold them. This is where we fight. Remember this day, fam, for it will be yours for all time. We must give them nothing but take from them everything. Oh man, I finally got it. That took like 20 tries. It's really hot outside. This is where we fight! All right, so you guys know that Sour Strips has been in Target for over a year and we are absolutely crushing it. We only had two flavors in there and we had two pegs out of this whole little category, right? And somehow we managed to be number one in our peg section, right? So we were beating out every single person in here, but we were number two in the entire sugar category. That means the gum, that means the chocolates, that means the mints, that means all the big stuff down here. We were number two and we gotta get to number one. Sour Strips has gotta get to number one and we're doing it because we are adding two more flavors, pink lemonade and strawberry, which will probably be in your target right now, but not in my target. We have six pegs, ladies and gentlemen. We have six pegs, from two pegs to six pegs. You know what that means? Someone else lost their pegs to little old sour strips, and we're not gonna give it up, and we're gonna prove to them that we want even more pegs, and we're gonna prove to them that we wanna win! That we wanna win! So I need all of you to call your friends, call your grandma, call your mom, call your sister, call your brother, and say, go to Target. Get some sour strips, pink lemonade, strawberry, blue raspberry, rainbow, and let's take this to number one. And I'm just, I'm just so, I'm, I'm really proud, man, because my team, we've worked really hard, and getting into Target was a big deal, and we're doing really well, and it's all because you guys, I just want to say thank you, and it's just amazing coming in and seeing a product that we had a little vision for, and now it's here, and I'm just, uh, it just makes me so happy. It's so cool. The CPG space is amazing. And it's also cool to see my friends getting into the CPG space. Let me go show you one of my other buddies' brands that hopefully one day will be right in the same store as Sour Strips. What up, dude? What's up, geez? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the final boss slash Anabar HQ. You guys know Remington. What's going on, people? And we got Ryan back here. It's very exciting. Yeah. Both the owners of Anabar, the best tasting protein bar in the world. And we just had him on the podcast. We did. That was, The feedback was great, by the yeah, way. Yeah, it's going well, man. That's how's, how's business going? I was just telling the people we we're in Target. We're expanding, and I was like, one day, my buddies are going to be in the same <laughs> same place. I'm telling you. We're talking to Target. Yeah. Are you really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. right. Yeah, I hooked you up with a person. Yeah, we're talking to your broker. So that's like... Uh, spring next year, first quarter next year. Let's go. So we'll yeah, see. and then we got the new flavor, uh, the Very Berry Crunch. If you like Captain Crunch Berry cereal, that's not exactly what's in it. Legally, I can't say that, but if you like it. That's you know. the whole reason I came over here is to get a bunch of protein bars, honestly. Oh yeah, we hook our dude up. If it wasn't for him, I don't. we wouldn't be as far as we are in business, so. No, he's made he gets anabars bars for life. So they're crushing online, but then retail's the future, right? That's right, yeah, Trader Joe's, that's confirmed. So, really? Yeah. We're oh, good. fuck yeah, bro. So I'd be like towards <laughs> the end of the year. Maybe. I'm telling you. YouTube's cool, clothing's cool, but you know what's really cool? The CPG space. By the way, if, I, I, if you guys don't know what CPG is, consumer packaged goods, mm -hmm. like food and stuff. But uh, <laughs> I'm gonna take this protein bars, I'm gonna munch on them, and then I'm gonna go get myself a fresh cut. All 
All right, another day, another podcast filming session. We are sitting down with guest number 12. I'm actually getting ahead of myself a little bit, but we are, this will be 12 weeks of podcasts that I've been doing, three months. And you know, every time I, I sit down and I write a bunch of notes, like here's with Taylor, here's with the Anabar guys, which I was just visiting the warehouse, here's with Bob Lipset, and I never end up getting to all my questions. So this is why we definitely have to, um, you know, have guests back so we can do, you know, round two. And I'm just, I'm, I'm really enjoying doing this. I've said this a million times, but apparently you guys are too, because I'm getting as, almost as many views on the podcast channel as I am my own. But I never in a million years thought that I would be doing this. And guys, I'm, I'm gonna go and give you a little sneak peek. In two weeks, I sit down with Ronnie Coleman. Ronnie fucking Coleman. Yeah, yeah, buddy. Ain't nothing but a peanut. That Ronnie Coleman. Can you imagine? I never in a million years thought I would sit down with that, and it's just, it's its like pretty cool. It's pretty cool, and if you ever wondered why I went so like hardcore on all this equipment, it's because I kind of, I wanted to make sure that when I launched this new thing, you guys saw that I was invested into it. The production quality, the visuals, the lights, just everything about it, the, you know, the, the, the 4K camera quality, the multiple angles, I wanted to make sure that you're getting the best of the best. And I just, I can't wait to see where this thing goes. And eventually I hope to pay myself back because this whole room was like $25,000 to build out. <laughs> oh, but you know it is what it is. And luckily we have some amazing sponsors that help pay for this camera equipment in this podcast room. And that is why today is sponsored by friends at Factor Meals. But I know what you're thinking, Factor, you just met her. If you didn't know, Factor is an amazing company that delivers fresh, never frozen meals directly to your door. And now I know what you're thinking. Max, don't you work with HelloFresh? Well, HelloFresh now owns Factor. So if you wanna make some food at your house, you got HelloFresh. You want meals made for you? Factor is the one. Today we are gonna make Italian sausage oregano. And what's great about this stuff is that there's no prep, there's no mess. It's super simple to make. You just pop it in the micro wave or the oven for two minutes. Bada boom, bada bing, you're done. You don't have to worry about going to the grocery store. There's no stressful meal planning. It's just ready and it's just the best. So you guys know I live a hectic lifestyle, so something like this is super convenient, helps me de-stress, and with my personal fitness goals, it's just nice to not have to worry about anything, and they have a ton of options. They have vegan, they have veggie, they have keto, they have calorie smart, they have chef's choice, and what's great is you can change up the amount of shipments you get every week because they're super flexible with your schedule, or if you need to push any shipments back, they have you covered. So Factor is definitely a go-to dinner or lunch solution when you're on the go or working from home, and did I mention they're delicious? If you guys are interested in checking them out, you can head to go.factor75.com slash max120 and use code max120 to get $120 off. Again, you can head to go.factor75.com slash max120 and use code max120 to get $120 off. Now, let's get back to the vlog. David would say, gains, bro. bro. Workout complete. I appreciate that. I hope you guys are uh, ready to see a whole lot of David because like I said, he's gonna be staying with me for months. Him and Julia, all the dogs. I wanna give a little background of your moving history with Texas and uh, why you're staying with me. So about five years ago, Julia and I moved from Boston to Austin. Stayed there like three years, we loved it. Then all the crazy stuff happened a few years ago and we were like, let's move to Houston. Max is there, Alpha Elite's there. We came and after six months we were like, ah, we kind of missed the city. So then we sold the house that we built, moved back to Austin, bounced between like two or three different apartments in Austin. We're building a house in Austin now, but we came to this realization like we keep getting so attached to like, we need to be in, the, in this house and have this whole master plan, then we just second guess it. So we're kind of like reacting against that. And it's like, bro, we still have the flexibility we don't have kids yet. We have the, the flexibility with our businesses to be anywhere. Like why take everything so seriously? Why not just adventure a little bit, 
stay at Max's place a little bit and just see like see what we really want rather than keep getting tied down to these like really long-term plans well there's a, there is a plan after Max's but I don't even want to like say it anymore because people on my channel who watch your channel like they won't believe me anyway because I don't believe him I don't think what's gonna happen what, what what's going to happen I don't think it's actually gonna happen what he says is happening you know what, what I'm I'm happy because it's gonna push me to keep making content and level my stuff up because David's content is like top tier but I'm I'm mad because I'm, I decided to come, I, I was like, I'm gonna stay kind of lean for a little bit. David's off his diet and David wants to eat all the food all the time. So first thing I asked when I got here, I was like, you're not cutting anymore, right? <laughs> Who needs abs? So I don't think I can maintain the diet with Dave around because he's always gonna be like, dude, you wanna go get some dinner? Do you wanna go get some, uh, some margaritas? Do you wanna go get some sushi? Some pizza? Speaking of that, do you wanna go get some food? Yeah. All right. Thank you. All right, a little dinner with the roomies. Taylor is currently in Dallas doing some modeling stuff. P.F. Chang's, normally I always get the Chang spicy chicken, which is what David got, but because I'm trying to be good, I'm trying, I'm trying to be shredded for absolutely no reason anymore, I decided to get the grilled version of it. So I'm gonna, twice as good. This That really does look better, but we're gonna try it out. I'm gonna tell you if it's worth it. I don't know, I, with all the sauce, you're saving what? 300 calories. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. We'll take like it. Staying shredded, baby. Good morning, roomies. Good morning. What are you doing here? I'm making you some breakfast. Breakfast? Yeah, because you're letting us stay here. Oh my gosh, you know, I was thinking, I was like, you know, until I met Batman, aka Tay Tay Banks, aka Taylor, I never really had a woman woman's touch in the in the household, right? And now all of a sudden I got 17 plants in here and I'm loving it. But now I'm gonna have two women in the household. Yeah. What, what, what do you think is gonna change in the home? It's gonna be clean. <laughs> There's gonna be a lot of food, not just like drinks. Every time Julia comes to visit, like I just, I'll be randomly doing something and, and Julia's just like in the corner, like with a vacuum, just like, like vacuuming. Yeah, now I like fold his laundry and stuff. This is gonna be the best <laughs> thing ever. Are you excited to, to live here? I mean, David's like super, super down to like, you know, crash for a couple months. Like from, like from a woman's perspective, how do you feel about like, yeah, I mean, your house is huge, so it's like it he's, he's on like one end and we're on the other. Like, I feel like we won't, unless we're in the kitchen, you don't really meet, you know? You're never upstairs. Can you tell the people a little synopsis about what you're doing after without giving anything away? Because something's, something's happening after they leave. We're doing something crazy. That's it. <laughs> That's all I can say. Oh, by the way, that was the secret thing that they had that it was them moving in. It wasn't because Julie's pregnant. Yeah, definitely not pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you have to have sex to, have to get pregnant. All right, so I am excited to have David and Julia in the house. We're always gonna have something to do, tons of people to talk to, lots of adventures to go on over the next like two months that they're gonna be here. And dude is super excited because he's gonna have some friends every single day to hang out with. So yeah, just get ready for the crazy things that are gonna happen in this house. We essentially made a hype house. It's, it's a maxi pad. That's what we're gonna call it. Yep, <laughs> anyway. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, if, you, if, if every single person that watches my videos that is in America, that has a Target near them, that went to Target and purchased one bag of Sour Strips, we will literally make the candy conglomerates that have been around for like ever. Look at the data, because we're gonna skew the fuck out of it. They're gonna be like, who is this Sour Strips? Who is this? And then they're gonna look up the owner and it's just gonna be me eating an egg sandwich. Thank you so much for tuning in. Hit thumbs up button, eat more sour strips, and ever forward. Oh, and new podcast episode tomorrow. Here's a little sneak peek. To tell people like kind of like who you are and uh, about you. I'm a powerlifter. If you, people ask you like, what do you do for work? I'm a powerlifter. You are on steroids. 100%. Yeah. What? You should definitely try one night out. I think that I've hit my genetic cap. I appreciate you admitting that. My best sumo is 650. <laughs> my best conventional is 623. <laughs> I think if, if if people can take away something from this uh, this episode, it would be. I'm a powerlifter. I'll see you in the next one.